at Stewart Pond here in Eugene, Oregon. It's newly 18 holes. It was a nine hole previous. Uh, I haven't played this course yet. I'm pretty excited from the looks of it. Uh, oh yeah. What do you think, Justin? Yep, pretty excited to play. Uh, I see some elevated baskets, open shots, deep shots, so I'm ready to play. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, hole one is 242 foot par three. It is uh, an uphill shot. It's pretty open besides some low hang right around the basket. Hole two, 318 foot par three. This hole is also uphill. And as you can see, there are quite a few trees to navigate. All right, hole three, it's a 302 foot par three, slightly uphill, pretty tight fairway, and there's also a mando that you have to hit to the right side of the left hand tree. Hole four, 394 foot par three. This hole plays right to left and it is a big drop in elevation downhill. Super fast green, there is a drop off right behind the basket. So got to play her safe. coming into our first par four at 620 feet. This hole has a very low ceiling right off the tee, so it's really difficult to get a good shot out there. But once you get past the low hang, it's pretty wide open. Awesome hole to play. Hole six, 250 foot par three. There's one tree to beat in the middle and there is a creek that runs along the left-hand side of the hole. So got to play her safe or you're going to be stepping in about ankle deep water. Alright, hole 7, 324 foot par 3. This hole plays left to right. The right hand side of the fairway is pretty heavily guarded. Uh, yeah, so a big turnover or forehand if you're right handed. Pretty simple shot for a left hand. foot par three this hole is pretty straight uh, there are lots of trees to beat around the basket 
but it's pretty wide open before you get to those trees. par three uh, this hole plays pretty guarded uh, there's a really tight line up the middle but there is a forehand hyzer to the left hand side of the fairway or you know just a regular backhand hyzer if you're left-handed as you can see Justin throws that shot foot par three there are lots of trees to navigate on this one um, pretty much plays for any shot though par three um, this plays slightly uphill so it plays a little more like four to 405 um, you can throw really any shot here you just got to crank one up the fairway foot par three pretty short hole this but this hole plays left to right elevated basket up on a mound and there's a big drop off on the right hand side so you want to keep it a little wide This hole is pretty open until you get about three quarters of the way down the fairway and uh, there's a slight elevation drop and there's a few trees to beat around the basket. A super tight tunnel shot or you can opt for the forehand hyzer around the outside.
par three. Uh, you can opt for the hyzer if you're right-handed or you can opt for the hyzer if you're left-handed. Hole 16 is also a 333 foot par 3. This hole plays uphill quite a bit, so it plays a little more like 4 to 415. Um, there is a hyzer either way you want to go, but there's a pretty quick green. foot par three this whole play is pretty heavily uphill um, there's only two trees to beat around the basket since it's uphill it plays a little bit more like 300 elevated downhill a lot with a pretty high elevated basket when you get there um, super fun shot uh, you can play any shot you want here forehand friendly holes or left-handed friendly holes um, everything was about 300 plus so you really get to you know throw some distance um, overall I'm gonna give this course a rating of about an eight um, could use a little bit of course maintenance the tee pads were great but uh, a good mow out here would be awesome what do you think Justin yeah definitely we need to mow the tee pads were probably my favorite part and the baskets uh, really good course yeah a lot of big shots uh, really left-handed friendly where the baskets were set up but overall i'm gonna give this course about a seven all right. all right don't forget to like and subscribe our channel we'll see you on the next one